Hey everyone, if this is your first time here, my name is Tawny Planis, and I'm the voice actor who tells you what your favorite animated movies and shows from childhood say about you. Today, I'll be reading you over all your favorite animated classic Disney and Pixar movies. As always, these are all just jokes. I'm not a therapist, I just watch too many movies, and I'm a chronic overthinker. So, if you have a good sense of humor about yourself, this should be a fun time. Now, without further ado, here's what your favorite animated Disney and Pixar movies say about you. You're the trash goblin friend who collects knickknacks, seashells, and random ground debris, and I feel like you would throw hands in a Walmart parking lot. If you had three wishes, one would be for a beautiful boy friend, one would be for a beautiful girlfriend, and one would be for enough money to take them both out on fancy dates. You're either the most basic individual ever, or you're extremely weird, there's no middle ground. You're a romantic who loves nature, and you definitely ate a bug as a kid just to find out what they tasted like. You may not go looking for the drama, but it does have a way of always finding you. There's some full-on treachery going on in your midst at all times, but you're just the lovable goofball at the center of all of it. I'm getting a lot of religious guilt, an obsessive love of history, and a penchant for the finer things in life, like a sheet with a really high thread count and some artisanal cheeses. Oh honey, you would not know a red flag even if it was waving in your face. You have defended your codependent partners like you were fighting the Battle of Waterloo. All your friends and family were not just jealous and trying to ruin your life, they did have a point about your toxic ex. Are you a little emotionally stunted? Yes. Will you fall for the first attractive human being who offers to take you away from all of this? Of course. Do you compulsively brush your hair like all your childhood trauma is hiding underneath it? Absolutely. Being basic isn't a bad thing, it just means you like stuff that's popular. You go enjoy your pumpkin spice lattes and your Chris Hemsworth and don't let anyone tell you what's wrong. You grew up to be the armchair therapist of the group, listening to people's problems or giving advice when they asked for it. You got that tree grandma energy and we need you. This was the tip of the iceberg that is your personal relationship with the complicated subjects of masculinity and gender, and honey, same. Oh, I'm convinced you're the queen of sass and the black sheep of your family who will resort to petty acts of sabotage and revenge for the joy that it brings you, and I fully support it. You're one of those people who's into old European culture and folklore, and it's kind of a law, but I do appreciate that you can identify cursed fairy stuff when you're out in the woods. You're not a fan of civilization. You'd like to be alone in the wild with animals very, very far away from the rest of humanity, maybe with just like one other person, but you know exactly who that one other person's gonna be. You are impulsive as hell, and you have zero self preservation instinct. It does come from a good place, though. You're just genuinely trying to do the right thing. You are severely underrated, and people need to appreciate you more. You're funny, you're charming, you're gorgeous, and you can low-key cook better than Gordon Ramsay. You are both artsy and fartsy. Anyone who engages in drawing, painting, animation, or any art form was probably raised on this. You're definitely outgoing and creative. Some people look at you and they see an emotionally damaged gremlin, but I see someone who has learned that the family you're given isn't as important as the one you make, and also an emotionally damaged gremlin. You have a bunch of nerdy interests and hobbies, and when you hyperfixate on something, there's no stopping you. Hanging out with you is like hanging out with an encyclopedia that had too many cups of coffee. Your brain is chaotic soup. You like punk rock boys or women in uniform, which means you have a problem with authority but also find power attractive. Sorry if that's confusing, but it's your life now. You're the funny attention-seeking one in the group who always has something sarcastic to say and you wish you could cut away to an invisible audience to trash talk your friends. You swagger around like you own the place and it's giving pretentious energy. Half the time you don't even know what you're talking about, but people listen to you anyway because you're confident. You're a nerd, a gamer, or just chronically online. Your mind is a vault of useless information and pop culture, but I'm here for it. I feel like your whole life has just been one big attempt to finally be cool and you've tried everything. Having the best music, skateboarding, wearing sunglasses indoors, and none of it's worked. Your expectations of college were way too high. There was no rollerblading or disco or flirting. It was all just debt, confusion, and disappointment. The fans of this movie scare me. Y'all saw that snake that does the hypnotizing thing with his eyes and now you're into weird stuff. Stay away from my family. I feel like you're not a big fan of the ultra-rich and you distrust authority. You also have confusing feelings about cartoon foxes to this day. Ah, look at you, still having confusing feelings about cartoon foxes to this day. Looks like I was right, except now the police are good. According to this, it's giving mixed signals, Disney. All your clothes from middle school are very much still in your closet, and that includes a hoodie with the holes poked in the sleeve so you can put your thumbs through it, and you like a tall boy in a nice outfit who can sing. I feel like you have a degree in some kind of art form, or at least that's what you wanted to go for before getting really heavy into partying in your 20s. Now your brain has all kinds of holes in it. You were an outdoorsy child, you played with dirt, and you could identify most species of birds from 300 yards away. You're either a literary nerd, a history nerd, or a chaotic swamp witch. There's also a possibility you may be all three. You have that rare combination of grubby and classy that comes from metropolitan living, and you've spent probably a third of your life in traffic or on public transportation. How's your D&D game going? Did you have fun at the Ren Fair? Have you made any good soups lately? I know you can do a lot with just some cheese and a potato. You're just somebody's Gen X parents. Oh, you're strange. Not bad, but like eccentric. You still believe life can be whatever you want it to be, and now you like collect hats or own a unicycle. It's something weird. This was your gateway into those wacky British crime dramas, and you love Sherlock. You fully understand that profiteering and corporate greed is based almost entirely on the suffering of children, and we love a socially conscious icon. You personify inanimate objects and escape into old video games from your childhood because you refuse to accept the current timeline we live in, but hey, that delusional energy is how you survive. Everywhere you go, things just fall apart, but you keep putting them back together again just in the nick of time. You are surviving on pure luck and determination at this point. Tell me you know how to enjoy the finer things in life without actually telling me. Your enemies will call you bougie, but your friends know you just have taste. This was just Anxiety, the movie, and you internalize that. Now you're constantly worried that everyone you love is in danger. You've forgotten where you put your phone or your keys so many times that you're starting to wonder if you ever even had them to begin with. You only want one thing, and it's a tropical supervillain 
Silent Island and a dummy thick Pixar mommy. Unless, of course, you were just here for Edna Mode, like me and everyone else in the LGBTQ plus community. You're environmentally conscious and aware of the imminent dystopian future, and you also just love little robot guys, and who could blame you? He was so cute and little! Apparently, you have way too much free time because you're out here explaining the entire geopolitical history of the Cars universe because you saw there was a car pope. You're getting older very quickly, and it is terrifying to you. Also, you cry very easily at random stuff now because you're broken. You're probably very talented at one very specific thing. You enjoy the holiday seasons, and you love your grandparents in a way that is absolutely adorable. You drop your trauma on other people in the middle of conversations because you think it's hilarious, and you eat awkward silence for breakfast. Nobody can hold more sustained forced eye contact than you. You broke up with a friend or were in a relationship that didn't work out because you moved away from them or they just moved on and you still occasionally look up their profiles just to make sure they aren't too happy. They really created a character that was just like you and then called that character sadness. That is more of an insult than anything I've said in this entire video. You have a lot of inner conflict about truly being yourself and finding your identity, but you're doing it slowly and with a lot of unprocessed trauma. I feel like if there's hair in your food, you're just gonna pick it out, erase that from your mind, and keep on eating. What hair? Never happened. You either like Tinkerbell, which means you could probably beat me up in a fight because Tinkerbell girls are terrifying, or you're a Peter Pan kid, which is giving theater kid with Arrested Development. You're an old soul, like you have the vibe of a kindly groundskeeper. You're already a senior citizen in your heart, and I'm sure you make excellent cookies. We love you, Gam Gam. You were not expecting to feel this many feelings in one lifetime. I don't think human beings were built to laugh and cry at the same time, but that has not stopped you. It's the End of the World by R.E.M. plays in your head whenever you read another news headline because you're pretty sure the world is in fact ending. Your parents wouldn't let you watch the live action 90s one with Chris O'Donnell, so this is what you got. You're a problem solver. Life has thrown a lot at you, and as a result, you're extremely innovative. Found family is important to you, and you care a little too much what people think. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. We're gonna leave this one in the past where it belongs. People who like puppets are objectively terrifying. Just ask anyone who's ever been to a Jeff Dunham show. You will stop to pet any dog you meet, and nobody knows if it's just because you really love dogs or because you're window shopping for a new coat. Does this count as an animated film? Well, either way, you have a thing for redheads now, and that definitely counts for something. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet, and hit that notification bell. If you want more of these, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.